I sewed up a really comfy and cute athleisure wear set that was pretty easy to put together and throw on. So if you're looking for a stylish and chic option for travel, you're in the right place, my friend. For this outfit, I knew that I wanted to hit four different criteria. One, it needed to have pockets. It needed to have lots of secure pockets. And the reason for that is, I actually lost my wallet in an airport once. It fell out my pocket and trust me, you really don't want to travel across the country without a wallet. It, it wasn't a fun time. So that's why I decided to go the zipper pocket route on these pants here. The second thing that I really wanted, I wanted something that was going to be super comfortable to wear because I mean, let's be honest, I have a lot of badonka dunk and if I have to squeeze it into a tiny little air, airplane seat, I don't want my clothes to be tight. They need to be comfortable. So that was reason number two. Number three, I wanted something that looked intentional and put together. Um, when I'm traveling, I don't want to be self-conscious about who I might see, who I might run into, none of that. So I want something that's easy to wear, but looks like, yes, you look like you're put together. It, it's, it's all about the intention behind the outfit. The fourth thing that I really needed was something that was going to be a quick sew because I was going to be traveling to Florida in a couple of days. So that's why I chose both a pattern that was in my stash and something that could primarily be sewn up on my serger. So not too much new going on here. Now let's talk about the fabric because I don't have much to say about it. It's a French terry and it's a cotton blend. And you can see the little loops on this side here. It's a really nice fabric. It's sewed up beautifully. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like, what more can I say? It's a nice French terry to sew with. And I picked this fabric up at Three Little Birds. I actually picked up three yards of it. So I had enough left over to make myself a matching pair of shorts that I'll also share with you. Now for the patterns. So I started this entire outfit with the pants because I had this vision of the zipper pants, a zipper leg pocket, all of that good stuff. So I decided to go with my favorite Green Style Creations pattern, um, the Brassy Joggers. And I did the view that has the zipper um, pockets in the front, but then I also added one on the leg. And I really did that using the same exact technique that they did for the hip pockets there. I did not include a drawstring on this one. I just wanted it to be flat fronts. I felt like I didn't want anything to take away from the zipper pockets right here on the front. And I did use a metal zipper instead of a plastic one there. And I did that on all of the different sides. This pocket's probably the smallest if it's like chapstick, a credit card, you know, what are your door cards to your hotel? Um, yeah, I mean, so it's like totally functional, but it is a much smaller pocket and I'm okay with that because I don't want too much bulk on my thighs. And while I'm at it, let me just show you what the inside of these pants look like. So here's the hip pocket, but down here, this is the bag that I actually used for that um, leg zipper pocket that's right there. And the zippers that I used were a size 4.5 YKK zipper. I actually got them from Wawak. They sell them really inexpensively. So that's a good place to source your zippers. I wear these at least once a week. Yeah, they're, they're so good. Now, the reason why I really like this um, green style brassy joggers pattern is because you can take multiple measurements, not just your standard waist, hips, and length, but they have thigh measurements, they have calf measurements. So if you have heavier thighs like I do, it's really helpful because you can just grade from one size to the next, or you can grade in from one size to the next. And they just make it really easy to be able to do that. 
I'll be honest, this time around, I had to go with a completely different size from the one that I had sewn up last time. And it was just still a really easy process. So it's a great way to get a good fit on the first try. Now let's talk quickly about the shorts because I made the other view for the shorts, but I did it in the Bermuda length. So these are my shorts right here. And you can see that I actually put binding on the pockets there. Um, I put the French terry on the outside, hoping that this would look a little stretched out and kind of worn in, but it just kind of curled up. <laughs> I also flipped up the hem on the um, shorts. So instead of turning it to the inside, I turned it to the outside. Now, I kind of wished that I hadn't sewn over it with that black zigzag. I wish that I had either used a white thread or um, just left it off entirely because I did catch that hem in the side seam there. And so, I mean, it would stay turned up, but it might have given me that more like kind of worn in look that I was going for. Now let's talk about the top. So this top is also a Green Style Creations pattern. It's their Studio to Street pattern, but I did the version with the long sleeves. I just left that long sleeve off. I mean, it does have a grown on dolman type of sleeve on it. And I felt like that was just sufficient for what I was going for. Also, I did lengthen this top by an inch and a half. And if I'm honest, next time I'll add an additional two inches. And the reason is because I feel like this top is just a little bit too short, but also I'd like to make a deeper hem. And you can see here, you see how my hem curls into the inside? Well, it does that while I'm wearing it. So it makes it just a little shorter as well. Um, and it's just a, regular 5 8 hem, I believe. So that's something to consider if you're going to make this top. I mean, just make that hem a little deeper, please. Thank me for it later. By the way, if you like this video and learning about nice, comfy, chic patterns that you can make up, definitely subscribe because I like to do those kind of videos often. And you all, we need to talk about something that a lot of people struggle with, and that's actually how to match up plaids like this. And you can see I've matched it across that side, the back, and then back around. This is so much easier than most people make it seem. I mean, look, let, let me just give you the trick, okay? We're going we're gonna to take this down to the cutting mat. When you're laying your pattern down on your fabric, the most important thing that you're going to want to pay attention to is the most predominant line in the pattern on your fabric. And for me, when I'm looking at this fabric, it's these white stripes that really stand out for me. And so that is the only thing that I'm going to focus on matching up. I don't care where it lands on the squares. As long as these lines match up, your garment is going to look amazing. Here's my side seam. I like to line up these lines with my pattern notches because that is the easiest way to make sure that these are going to hit at the same exact point. So I line this up with my front leg side seam pattern notch. And then I line this side up with my pattern notch and I'll cut the fabrics, making sure that I am cutting identical pieces for both front legs and back legs. And when you do it that way, you'll see that your crotch seam will line up as well as your side seams here. So here's something that I would like to note. Sometimes when you're matching up the side seams, your pieces can be just a little off. And you can see that this one, I didn't quite nail this right here. What I could have done was pin that a little better and then slightly stretch the fabric. As you're stretching it, you're basically easing in the side that's just a little longer and it'll line up 
your stripes a little better than mine did right there. As for the waistband, this is actually something that I wish I had thought a little bit more about before I sewed it on. So after I had it all sewn up and, you know, in around the whole waistband, I wish that I would have just shifted this square a little over so it would have been right in the middle of this one. And so that way in the front, I have that continuous gray block kind of going up. Um, it was a missed opportunity. I'm okay with it though. All in all, I have to say, I really do like this outfit a lot. Enough that I'm wearing these pants. Well, I'm wearing all three of these pieces throughout the entire week, every week. So, I mean, I think it was just a really good make and I would highly recommend these patterns to anyone who wants to sew them. And did I mention that they're actually pretty size inclusive? If you have any fun tips or tricks about matching up the lines on plaids that maybe I haven't considered, drop it down in the comments below and teach me a thing or two. I'm always happy to hear how you guys improve on processes. And you all, if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out this one right over here. It's the last dress that I made with leather accents and I gave you some leather tips in there that you might actually enjoy. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day. By the way, if you... <laughs> By the way, if you like to know about good... <laughs>